Aloha, Pensacola from Prince Williams, Indiana. Or what was previously. So this is the former and now ghost town of Prince Williams, Indiana. Prince William, Indiana. And all that is left is that house right there. I'm pretty sure that house possibly too. Now, right there looks like just a normal field, which has just very recently been harvested. They go back about a century. Say it in 1920s, maybe a little earlier than that. This would be a little bustling little town right here. And Prince William had streets, you know. This field right here would have been streets. It would have been a whole entire town right here. You would have just a few blocks going this way. You'd have, I think one of the streets was like Washington Street. Of course, of course like every little town in uh, Indiana has like a Washington Street. That's like one of, the, one of the street names they usually, they would have, but. Yeah, look at this person. But yeah, it's the whole town that was right behind me just a century ago. Slowly over the decades. Yeah, they were all demolished. And I think you had houses all the way up to like just, you know, a couple of decades ago, even. Well, yeah, it's crazy to think, just slowly over decades and decades and decades, the streets, the buildings, everything just taken out. There was like a hotel, I think there was a hotel over in this area, or might, might have been right here. There were like shops, there was like a, yeah, like it, it was, had its own, it had all sorts of businesses and such, like it was like a, it was a bona fide town pretty much. It was a bona fide town. It had all sorts of businesses, it had an inn, I think it might have had its own like a court, courtyard or city hall or something like that, some type of government building. Of course it had a post office. They had all sorts of stuff. It was its own bonafide town. And it was just, yeah, completely, just completely erased from the existence, pretty much. There is very, very little left of uh, Prince William now. So, yeah, it's, a, it's just insane to think. This is not even just like a, you know, a lone case of something like this too. Like there are all sorts of towns in Indiana and all sorts of towns in the Midwest and out East, out West, North, South. I kind of had like a similar fate to this place. You know, some did less successful. Some even did even more successful Centralia. And you know, most cases it's just, you know, you build a, you build a train, train state, you know, train track out somewhere else. And then you build like a bigger highway or something, you know, diverts the traffic from that town to somewhere else. And then the town just kind of dwindles away. And so for this case, for Prince William, It had a plank road. This road right here, Prince William Road. It was one of the plank roads, you know, road with planks, you know, wood planks and such, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's another crazy thing that we used to have back then was just wood roads. <laughs> and so what happened was they built one of the railroads out in that direction, I believe. Yeah. Out that direction, you know, towards, or towards all that, towards where it goes up to um, Lafayette, the much bigger city. And so, that's what kind of caused uh, Prince William the uh, down, 
downfall. Then there was a guy that kept buying up the houses in the later decades, probably starting around the 50s or sometime around there. And so what was left of uh, Prince William, which at that point probably was just a bunch of houses, you know, just probably all sprinkled around these two roads here. Maybe some of that road still exists here, streets and such, who knows. Um, they, uh, the guy kept buying them out and he just kept, uh, you know, just buy them out and demolishing them and such until it's just like, yeah, these two houses left pretty much. I think there was like another bridge here in the past. And so you can kind of s still see like where the bridge used to exist. If you go down that way, you're down to the, 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 the thicket. But yeah, if you want to if you want to find out some more information about the uh, Prince William, check out my main channel again. Um, there is a guy that has done an extensive, extreme amount of in-depth re um, research and history on Prince William, down to having every single lot of the town like he went he went full on <laughs> and so yeah it's amazing like he um if i haven't pulled it up yet there's a map here i'll pull it up again um showing you know every every lot every lot which had you know the houses uh, the shops the inns and just the butchery the livery you know all that all that stuff and so, yeah, it's pretty incredible <laughs> the amount of detail he went into it. Cause, yeah, I doubt there'd be few people here left that would even know that there used to be like a whole town right here at one point. Just absolutely incredible. Like, who knows? Like, how many more things are like that out there? <laughs> It still blows my mind. Some of these country roads I passed may have just had like a town there at one point. I did a whole video on some ghost towns in uh, Warren County, which has um, the Malavia Hotel. That's that's a big thing there. It's an abandoned hotel with a pretty cursed history of catching on fire multiple times. And, yeah, that whole county alone has, like, probably the most ghost towns in Indiana. It, it was a fun little road trip thing, so I recommend watching that one if you have not yet on the main channel. Anywho, uh, yeah, that's been Corey. Dash Borderless. I will see you all in the next one somewhere out there. Yeah. Hey, ghost town, so ghosts. That's got to do with Halloween, right? Anyway, see you later.